Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, well, sadly, I did this. <laughs> didn't get to do this before. Now Raw started. Um, but that'll be later. Check out the Raw review later, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's talk. But speaking of Raw, let's talk about the ratings for last week about Raw and SmackDown. Um. I do know what's the rain for SmackDown, but for Raw, I am a bit confused. Uh, according to PW Torch, it's not really making sense. Like, they're saying 1.65 and then 1.73. But since, like, 1.65 is the first they mention, uh, deeping to a 1.65, that seems to be more realistic because I heard it took a hit, big hit. So, I'm going to go with 1.65. So, Raw, according to PW Torch, ladies and gentlemen, Raw got a 1.65 rating last week. After the fallout from Hell in the Cell and all this bullshit. Can't really blame people for not wanting to watch Raw. Because, you know, what happened with Hell in the Cell. And you got a whole of Raw, really. You know? What can you expect? And, you know, in the words of WJ, like, hello? Can you go? That goes for SmackDown too. With SmackDown... It got a 2.89 rating. Uh, yeah, 2.89. It actually is, it's down from last week's. Actually, SmackDown got a 3.89 rating. Um, yeah, so it was a 3.89 rating, actually, back uh, last week's SmackDown. SmackDown was actually a 3.89, but now it got, a, uh, not, not, the, the fucking Fox, Fox fucking SmackDown. The first episode, the first episode on Fox, you know, the 20th anniversary, the debut on Fox, it actually got a 3.89, but then it got, it, it took a big hit, it plummeted apparently, people are saying like, yeah, it, it took a big hit, because of the fucking draft, and I, I when you, seriously, but the thing is, like, can you blame people? You have your main event was diva shit. Cuckery at his finest. He had more cuckery with fucking... Oh, the first draft pick was Becky Lynch. Who fucking cares? Oh, the man. Uh, the man is the number one draft pick. You got this fucking tranny fucking... This bitch who wants to have her pronoun as the fucking man and shit. Like, give me a fucking break for fuck's sakes. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers? Give me a fucking break with this shit. So, fuck that. I'm watching Raw. Raw is back from commercial, and I'm thinking of fucking. I'll get on to Raw really. You guys gotta check out the review. <clears throat> but you're kidding me for fuck's sake. Like, when you fucking shoving this woman's revolution down our throat, fucking throats. First of all, really, actual fucking normal human beings who are wrestling fans don't actually care about women's goddamn wrestling. Only fucking cucks and faggot smarts. Only they fucking claim they love women's wrestling. They want women's wrestling to be all fucking athletic crap. Like, who gives a flying fuck? No one fucking cares. You know? Back in the day in the draft, you didn't fucking... Imagine if you first say had Molly Holly as the first draft pick. You think people would actually give a flying fuck? No! No one actually fucking cares about women's goddamn wrestling. And if you fucking... That's literally equivalent to this shit. It's like saying Molly Holly is the first draft pick. Fuck this shit. Fuck this whole fucking bullshit about the fucking draft. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers? Give me a fucking break with this bullshit about, oh, that, that Becky Lynch, the man. Like, fuck off. I'm tired of shit. I'm done with this crap. Like, about fucking, stop force, uh, fucking forcing this cuckery bullshit at its finest. Stop forcing this crap on us. You know? And they keep, and yeah, you got fucking Divas main eventing Raw and shit. Fucking God Almighty. Jay Leno. From her fucking garage. Oh, yeah, he, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? That was the reason why he had the fucking, that made event and shit? Fuck off. And yeah, fucking Ric Flair Jr., a.k.a. Jeffrey Epstein from Pedophile Island. <laughs> like, the Pedophile Island was on the line along with the, uh, who, whoever gets the rock. What it takes all, motherfuckers. A uh, Pedophile Island and fucking a garage uh, uh, is in, on the line for a She-Hulk's title. Whoopie fucking do. How low can you fucking go, motherfuckers? And then fucking, not just that, you got, it's like, it's just a joke. What a joke of a draft, you know? And how does that make fucking, you know, your world champion like Seth Rollins? Like, it makes him look like a fucking joke. Rollins, like, supposed to be the big champion along with Lesnar. Uh, even though we already know Lesnar's the big time champ in reality, but, you know, in, if it's a Raw champion, and unfortunately, you know, let's be honest, like, if it's a Raw title, it's going to mean more, more, basically, let's be honest. And Rollins is kind of like the big champion, unfortunately. 
which is a dawn shame for the title that actually is supposed to be the big title, fucking that dates back to the 60s with Lesnar. And then he fucking, yeah. It, 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 it's fucking Rollins. It, it fucking, it, it makes Rollins look like a joke. Him being fucking the champ, or supposed world champion. And you got, like, the first graphics of fucking women and shit. And it's like, what the fuck? And that's how with Raw it looks like fucking trash. He wasn't there. They didn't fucking talk about the bullshit. They didn't fuck, they, you know, took the pussy route. You know? Like, fucking not mentioning it. Like, you gotta overcome it somehow. Let's see what they've tried to overcome it tonight on Raw. Um, they're not, they didn't mention it on Raw. Like, I will talk about it again, but, like, you know, but they didn't fucking have this talk about it the first show and, like, first opening segment. But, eh. Anyways, fuck, you know, you honestly deserve it. Like, fucking, we thought, I thought fucking, you know, the debut episode of SmackDown was great. Like, not actually great, but good, you know, good for a first episode on Fox. And it, it glamoured me hope that SmackDown probably would be good. But boy, was I disappointed with fucking the draft episode. You know, after the, the episode, you know, like, fucking, I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. And, you know, it just like, what the fuck, you know? So, yeah, just, they deserve the ratings. You know, let's be fucking honest, you know? Not just like fucking, you know, Hell in Cell sucked and then Ross fucking sucked. He deserved that rating. And then SmackDown felt like, you know, oh, because Ro Rock wasn't there, okay? Like, doesn't that show you that fucking no one cares about your current stars? And, like, it's just not just that. It's just, like, fucking, you didn't have people to care about. Like, no, there's nothing much to care about fucking with SmackDown that happened, that, that show, so. You know, I did thought the opening match was alright, you know, Rollins and Reigns, but then other than that, fucking, the show really went fucking downhill. So you deserve your fucking ratings. Um, you know, how how low can you go? That's really just much about, like, I gotta really talk about, really. Just a little brief video about it, because I did a bit ratings video last week about AEW and NXT. It's probably better just do it now. I don't know if I'm gonna do ratings video every fucking show. I don't know, but I think it's good for, you know, because I guess I'm the reporter about that crap. So that's what we've done, gotta say. Um, I'm just keeping it real, motherfuckers. Gotta be muscles, gotta be abs, gotta be black cat to fuck your bitch off the couch. And drink! Finally, I could drink my fucking goddamn Coca-Cola. Finally, the Coke is back, motherfuckers. I'm a coke what can I say? I'm a summer lung glass, motherfucker. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Apparently, now I just got fucking allergies. You know, like, I don't know. Help you out, motherfuckers. Like, it's just fucking... I have a sore... It's just a sore throat. Well, I, like, the sore the throat is not really bothering me anymore. I'm just done. Apparently, it's just allergy. Just a throat and fucking, you know... It's a post-nasal trip allergy, apparently. Just really the throat is the problem. That's really fucking it, but... I'm alright, you know? I'm I'm happy. Just gotta bless life, man. Cheers, motherfuckers. Alright? That's all I'm gonna say. Take care, motherfuckers. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.